If Adam never sinned, we would never have victory over sin because victory over sin is not because you don't sin. Victory over sin is because Jesus conquered it. The unfallen Adam was still inferior to the new believer. That's hard to grasp because that's probably not what you've been taught. Because you've been taught God, is, you know, God has redeemed you, but you're still a sinner saved by grace. How many people heard that you're a sinner saved by grace? Uh, you, the message is true in the fact that you were a sinner and you have been saved by grace, but the problem is the message in America is mainly this. Believe in Jesus, your sins are forgiven, and you'll go to heaven. How many people have heard that message? It's not the message of the kingdom. It's one of the benefits of it, but it's not the message of it. The message of the kingdom is that he will save you, and save you means to make you whole. It, it denotes some things like as if you never sinned is one of the denotions. It's to actually bring you back to a place actually better than the pre- or the post-sin Adam. It's, it brings you back to a place even better than the Adam in the garden before he sinned, because the Adam in the garden before he sinned did not have victory over sin. He didn't have victory over it. Why? Because he fell to it. Right. Right. So even when Adam was in the garden, it was still, his life was still based on his decision. But your life is now based on Jesus' accomplishments. He did not create Adam in the hope that Adam would never sin and he would never have to sin his son. His plan was always Jesus. Was always... God's son was not his second choice. Adam was created. Jesus wasn't. There is no way that Adam in the garden was God's first choice. Because Jesus was slain before the foundations of the world. Jesus was always the choice. Why? Why? Because without Jesus, you don't have the victory you need.